What's up, people? It's Tech Crazy coming at you today with a marijuana strain review. This is coming from a cannabis company called Gage Cannabis Co. And the marijuana strain itself is Josh D O G or J D O G. I picked up the pre roll at one gram for $15.69 plus tax with $2.04 tax running $17.73 tax included. And uh, as you see here, it came in the same container it usually does, the Gage Cannabis. I usually grab the pre-rolls. Um, I'm a fan of the company, but at the same time, I kind of like to enjoy their strains once, and that's pretty much as far as I go. I don't usually go back to the same strains by them, but I definitely do like trying them and uh, reviewing them. And to me, they're overall a flavorful, usually a flavorful, very easy smoke that has even balanced effects that are not overwhelming in any way and uh, these are great for like I would say older people you know um, mediocre smokers new smokers and stuff like that that want to enjoy the flavor the quality cannabis um, you, you really you really get it from gauge cannabis they're definitely a good company now this product I was told is hard to get um, I've seen it only at one store so far. I was trying to get it on sale. I couldn't, so I, I figured to pick it up. I wanted to finish some of the big name brands. I'm getting close to 1,000 subscribers, so I wanted to finish them all off and uh, start working my way down from the top of the menu instead of from the bottom because I got a lot of value streams already. And Gage Cannabis is expensive. They are like one of the most expensive strains, I would say, not like, the most expensive but one of the most expensive and they're definitely in like a if there's like 50 brands that are top shelf that are kind of expensive they're definitely one of them but it's a cannabis company from california um a lot of cookies association and from my experience i think this was grown by noia i could be wrong uh, let me check here um okay the package date right here package date this was packaged 23rd of may 2020 so this has been a package for almost a year um a little less than a year but it's still fairly new on the cannabis market i'd say within the year uh total thc at 17.8 percent cbd at zero doesn't look like it has noia cannabis on it this time gauge yeah maybe not i thought it was by noia i guess not um all right so i'll go ahead and read off the description i'm on the ocs.ca website that's the ontario cannabis stores website gauge cannabis co jd og pre-roll 16 dollars and five cents per gram tax included so i got this at 420 love they charge us a little bit more um that's why i usually only get their deals I find them to be a little bit more pricey than on the website where some of the other dispensaries are more fair price but definitely a big menu they have uh indica dominant an indica dominant strain from gauge cannabis co with very strong thc potency potential and a sweet spicy lemon aroma all right potency potential and a fruity aroma okay the buds the buds of this indoor hydroponically grown plant are green and purple and they hang dried and hand trimmed it all right so it is by noia cannabis noia cannabis to me is a really good grower i've really liked all the products i got from them so far i'm pretty sure all of them got fives i could be wrong about that i'm pretty sure all of them got five so far um potency is very strong which i said so far the strain name is Josh D O G. The terpenes are beta carophylline, beta myrcene, delta limonene, narrow little, and terpylene. Is it craft cannabis? Yes, it is. Growing region is Ontario. That's where I'm from. Growing method indoor, at least where I am now. Um, hand trims. All right, so nothing else I could really say. They don't have any pictures of it. If there is any online, I'll post a picture right here. I did notice it comes in flower form. 
and uh, the flower form is about 2% THC higher with like a little bit of more THC but um, depending on batches you might find this one's higher than that one and so on so not necessarily will you get higher batches in the flower but it looks like it does go higher in THC levels um, all right I'm gonna open it up it's a fresh batch as you see the seal is not open seal is not open and there's nothing really else on the container I'll show you the container it's pretty basic it's just, I read the stats off it's got a warning marijuana is harmful da 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 and so on all right I'm gonna open up my thumb score score it across my nail it seems to work the best this might be a Canadian only strain or it was maybe it's out in other places um, I've never really noticed it before Wow, that's kind of hard to open with a little bit of tape. All right, so they're saying it's THC potency potential and a sweet, spicy lemon aroma. I smell sweet, I smell spicy, and I smell lemon. So it's exactly that. It's not the best smelling. It's not the strongest smelling either. It's, uh, I'm a big fan of lemon strains, so I, I, I like lemon. As you, I always drink lemonade and stuff like that. This pre-roll is the size of my pinky. The filter literally goes to the bottom of my knuckle. So that's a good, I'll give it a five on the count. It definitely looks like it's on. It's solid as a rock and it's uh, rolled pretty good. Nothing really else I can say. I'm gonna go ahead and light it up. I'll throw the camera and I'll see you soon. I'm here with the JD OG by uh, Gage Cannabis. I forgot to mention too, it does have a pungent type of smell too. Maybe it's just because it was in the package for a while. Go ahead and light it up. It's sweet, a little lemony. The lemon really is more sweet than sour. It's really, it's got like a hint of cream flavor to it too. Typical of um, cage cannabis drinks, they're calling it all like this. It's probably gonna get gassy at the end of it. It's starting off all right. That's really, really sweet. This one probably, to me, is probably their sweetest one, their smoothest one, and it's kind of, it's kind of gassy, but it's it's like a sweet gassy flavor. It's pretty potent. I can already feel it hit me a little bit. I just ate and had a shower and like cleaned up and stuff, and uh, it hit me pretty quick. I can already feel it hit me. It's make my back tingle a little bit. It feels nice. The rainy weather is making me feel arthritis and stuff, and uh, it's kind of helping with that a bit. Gray ash. I'm surprised it's not whiter with the flavor and the smoothness. It's, uh, not bad. Smoothness. Smoothness, I'm going to give it like a 4.7 overall. It does have a potency with it, which kind of, it doesn't make you want to cough, but it's like strong when you blow it out. And like most um, smooth, rich flavored strains, usually you don't get the potency like that. And uh, when you blow it out, you really, you can really almost feel the potency in your lungs. It's kind of gassy, but at the same time, it's super smooth. Not too bad. Potency level, potency level, I'll give it like a four out of five. Flavor level. It's super rich in flavor, it's very nice. It's exactly what they said it is, plus it tastes like other fruits too. It doesn't just taste like lemons. The lemons, like, when you exhale it, and when you exhale after you smoke, you can kind of taste the lemon, and then you breathe in, it tastes like normal fruits. It's kind of weird. It's like changing flavor as I breathe in and out in my mouth. It tastes almost like a peach, 
and then it goes to lemon. It's not bad. It's burning really good. It's pulling really good. Alright, well, I'll finish this joint. It's probably gonna take a while. We're not even really halfway. It's burning okay. It's kind of canoeing a little bit, but uh, when I smoke it, it seems to be burning all right. Um, I'll wait till the effects wear off, and I'll jump back on camera and give it a final rating, and let you know what they were, and if there's any side effects. I'll see you then. All right, I'm back to finish off the review for the JD OG Hybrid. It was surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be with the potency it's at 17% THC uh, my first thought is with the smell and all that it wasn't going to be that good and it turned out to be a typical gauge cannabis product you know where it was sweet smooth and all that good stuff we made it through the whole joint and I felt like once I got to a certain certain amount of being high I didn't get that much more effects from it you know once it hit me to a certain level, that's that that's just as far as I got, and I could keep on smoking. I wouldn't, it wouldn't do anything else. Um, it wouldn't increase the buzz or anything. But uh, we smoked through it. We didn't have much of a problem. We got right down to the filter on it. It was enjoyable. It did get a little bit gassy at the same time. It had a unique change of flavor when you inhale with a lemon, and then you, no, sorry, when you inhale with a peach and then exhale with a lemon. And you know, it was like the, the switch of flavors as you blew it out was really nice. It's definitely unique in that way. Uh, enjoyable level, I'd say this one, just like the other ones, it would be a five. This one, to me, it was more peachy and they didn't mention the peach. It was more peachy. And so that's why to me, if I, I guess it was a little better than they described it, but I knew it would be good especially at the price it, i thought it would be good i imagine the flower is going to be just as good as this we got bare minimum so it only can get better so with that being said it's definitely it's got to got to be a good one um two people one joint we we could have probably had a third person there and they would have got just as buzz as we got you know uh probably a fourth person probably you know this would be good for mediocre smokers everyday smokers to me, it felt like it did have a bit more of an indica effect with its potency, even though the THC level is low. It felt like, not necessarily gave me any couch lock or feel tired in any way, but as the effects were, wore off, it kind of, without like giving you a headache, burnt me out a little bit, made me a little bit sluggish. And then I, I went back to being normal after like 20, 30 minutes of feeling a little lazy. Um, other than that, it was nice. I made videos. I, uh, I did everything I wanted to do without having any problems. So it's uh, definitely one you can still do things with. And uh, it was enjoyable. It's definitely, you could probably socialize, go out with this. Uh, you could smoke it during the day. I don't think waking baking it in a big pre-roll form, maybe a small a small pre-roll or like a bong hit maybe, you know. I think it'd be okay for waking baking. So yeah, waking bakeable. Uh daytime strain. You could even smoke it at night. This one would probably even put you to sleep at night if you're already tired too. It's it's an overall good strain. So uh I'm gonna give it a five. I I wasn't expecting it to be so good. It's unique. You know, it, it's flavor change as you blow the smoke out. Like, like, how many strains where it's like a sweet, enjoyable flavor, and on the exhale, it's another sweet, enjoyable flavor. Not too many do that. It's usually one. You know, when, on the inhale, it's nice, and exhale, it's like a little different. Maybe not, not bad, but not like a different fruit flavor. So that was really cool. Um, I'm going to give it a five. It's it's strong the effects are about two hours um it's typical for gauge cannabis they don't have the longest effects you know usually at that price you would expect two and a half hour three hour effects but uh it probably for mediocre smokers will probably last longer so maybe um it was batched yeah it was pretty fresh actually no this one was the older one um 
other than that, I have nothing else that I could say about it. It was just unique in its own way. And uh, too bad I couldn't show you some of the flower. It would have been nice if I got some flower. They do sell in flower form, like I said, but it's hard to get. It looks like it's already sold out. But right, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.